Stop! Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Today we're playing the free for all minigame Rumble Fumble. This is one of those mini games that relies on the rumble in your controller to play it. Although, just for the video footage, we turned rumble off so that the exclamation points would show up for the viewers. But either way, the concept is the same. At the beginning, it'll rumble in a certain way or show you an exclamation mark moving in a certain way. And then once the game begins, you have to go around and find that same rumble or exclamation point to see where the shy guys are hiding. And the first one to find three of them wins. Unfortunately, I feel like I fumbled at this one a little too much. Deciphering which exclamation point I was looking at to find the Shy Guy was a little difficult for me. To me, they were really similar, so I had a hard time figuring out where Shy Guy was. Yeah, I personally didn't have that much of an issue with it. At first, I was a little bit confused, but once I realized the different ways that the exclamation point could move, it wasn't super hard for me. I feel like I won a decent amount of times at this. Yeah, I feel like you did too. I think that was just me. I did have a lot of fun playing it, though. I did too. There's something simple about it. I mean, you're basically just playing hide and seek, but I enjoyed it. Plus, you don't play these Rumble minigames that often, so they break up the monotony a little bit. Yeah, definitely. One thing I liked about this one was if you accidentally got someone that wasn't Shy Guy, the cup still stayed there, so it could fool the other players, too. Oh, I don't know if I noticed that while we were playing. That's a fun little detail. Yeah! The Shy Guys disappear, but all the other characters don't, and I watched some of the computers go to the ones that I already picked up. So if you're able to keep an eye on where everyone else is going, which, don't get me wrong, that's really challenging, but if you can, that might help you a little bit. Yeah, that's a good hidden strategy. On the other hand, if you are fooled and you don't get a Shy Guy, you are stunned. So do really pay attention to that rumble or the exclamation point in the beginning. That'll really help you out. Yeah, if you miss that first example they give you, you're kind of screwed when playing this one. But overall, we had a pretty enjoyable time with this one. These Rumble mini games are fun, even though we had to play with the exclamation points just for all you guys. Sometimes it might be a little hard matching up the rumbles or exclamation points when you're playing it, but it might not always be an issue. And since there's so few of these Rumble mini games, it's kind of refreshing to play one. We're giving it four stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And if you're so inclined, tell your friends about our channel. Up next, we have our 60th Mario Party 5 minigame review with Rumble Ready. Well, I can only imagine this is going to be a lot like today's minigame. Hopefully it's just as fun though. If you want to see what it's like, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to see you then. then.